everyone. Welcome to Pack and Chat Part 3. I'm Holly and in these videos I pack orders that my customers have requested. And so during usually the first few days of the release they send a little note with their order that says please include in Pack and Chats and so that's what I'm doing. So this time I had a lot so we're moving on to the third one. I'm just such a softie and I have a hard time saying no I was going to do a drawing but we're just doing them all again this time. So that's the plan with this pack and chat part three. This first order is going to Holly in Alabama. And Holly says that this is for Kaylin because Kaylin has a birthday coming up. And I will cut this out if I'm not supposed to say this part, this part on video. But if it's okay, happy birthday Kaylin I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching my videos and I hope that someday you become a master soap maker as you desire so I'm going to tuck in a bite me soap and a juicy soap I think I'll put the black raspberry vanilla with this one. Oh, I love that soap so good let's see hmm let's do it like so mm -hmm -hmm. you know what I think I just need to get them in like that and then I'm going to tuck in just a little bit down here to level it off a bit we'll squish it over a hint see if we can tuck in just some shreds down here on the edge and the same on this one I'm gonna go ahead and cover those windows up with this piece of pickup bakery pickup paper stuff. And then we have a cranberry rhubarb and a bite me bath bomb that's gonna go in. And that's just gonna go there and it's going to be perfect. I love it when a plan comes together. So we'll do that. And then the bite me. I haven't ever quite figured out what else to name that. That's the name of the fragrance. And this is pretty cute, really. And so I use the little, um, like a little black cat. Whoa, what is, what is happening here? I am just throwing stuff all over all of a sudden. So this is going to be perfect. So we're going to tuck in for a sample. Wildberry Blizzard. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely adore that one. But that's, hmm, I think he's kind of a thick sample. So I think we'll tuck it in right here where we had that gap. I think that's probably a better way to go with that. And I've just done a packing slip on this one and it just got addresses all over the place. So I decided to just turn it so that it's just blank on the side that we all see. And then we're going to get this one tucked in. And this order is going to be off to Holly and Kaylin in Alabama. going to Melissa in Florida. Thank you for your order, Melissa. And I have kind of put them together on the side. I'm really hoping I can get them all into this package, but we'll see. Maybe a little too small. Oh, see there. I was planning on doing that. That's not going to work. Let's see what happens. 
So we had a cranberry limeade and a green clover and aloe. We have a lemon farmhouse soap and a juicy soap. We have a figgy cream and a river rock. Let's see how I want to do all this. And we have a beesiest of knees and oatmeal milk and honey. I'll put the lemon rose water one down there then maybe we can get the bath bomb on top of that we have a spring meadow it's just good soap going in I'll tuck it right there so that's gonna end up working there just fine however I still have plenty to get figured out over here. We'll put those two down. all work took a little bit of shred to fill the gap all right let's get these bath bombs in and go from there We have a mandarin cranberry bath bomb. It's going in. And we'll put it right here. It gives it a little bit more space to work with. And I cut these plenty long, I do believe. I feel like I could get by with a little less there. Because we do put shred around it as well. Just adding a little too much bulk, I think. Alright, we'll do that. That's too high there. Let's put the sunflower wax melt down here put a little shred around it to protect it in the bath bomb we're going to put in the pumpkin souffle wax melt right there that's going to be alright we're almost there feel like let's put a little bit of shred underneath this give it a little bit of an air ride yeah that's good that is good and so now we have a cranberry rhubarb preserves wax milk and perfect that'll be fine but we do need to kind of get some shred so it's sitting up instead of trying to bend in the middle between the box here and the lower okay that's gonna be great that works yay I do want to give this hexagon a little bit more padding 
great i think that will do it so we have a flannel and amber soap sample just put that like so and then we have a candied apple wax melt sample yay made it i didn't think i was gonna make it in this one but it all worked out so in with the invoice and the business card and i actually <laughs> my favorite emoji face with all the teeth hanging out and the whole like uh oh oopsie face i had a person by the same name with an order right below it and i thought i was combining these and so that person i probably would have shipped their order yesterday and it got delayed so that's too bad i'm sorry about that to the other person of this same name anyway i realized it because the addresses were different so i thought oh my goodness it's probably just a gift so i went and looked nope emails are different addresses were different the whole thing i think that's the first time that's happened that i've had a, just an exact same name and it was like ah oh, gosh it wasn't that many orders down from this one so any who's it this one is off to melissa in florida this order is headed to danielle in arizona thank you for your order and danielle is a great customer it's been around for quite some time we're gonna put in an embers and a figgy cream oh so good basically my current my favorite my husband's favorite <laughs> kind of fun we have a berry bliss and a spring meadow again this is my husband's favorite it's just good soap and this is mine so it's just fun any who's it i love these new boxes world of difference for me and we have a goofy jack-o-lantern and we have a skeleton oh my goodness these did so well so many grandparents buying their grandkids some and just mom and dad and so I am definitely going to have to increase those for next year so fun they sold out pretty fast so into this one for samples I'm gonna put in a flannel and amber because I adore it and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in an it's just good soap sample this one is a lemon my skeleton head is right here, so I guess I'll put those in a little bit different this time. Nice! This one is ready to head off to Arizona. It's so hard to believe that Christmas is next. I just, <laughs> it's mind boggling. This next order is headed to Brittany in Connecticut. Thank you for your order, Brittany. And I snatched up this box that I needed. I had it prepped for her, but I snatched it up, so I need to make another one real quick. And Brittany mentioned in her note that she loves the Hawaiian Dream Sugar Scrub. No, Salt Scrub. That one was a salt one. And so that is awesome. That was a really awesome scent for a scrub. I did make it in the clamshells this time. So what's everybody watching? My daughter and I, we don't have a whole lot to watch at the moment. We, after dinner, we cuddle in bed together and watch TV and we're just kind of <laughs> running out of things. We watched the remake of Turner and Hooch. Okay, let me tell you a story. <laughs> My daughter was in a toot, man, teenager. She was in a toot and she didn't want to watch anything I wanted to watch. And so I was like, well, fine. I'm just going to pick something then, Missy. And I picked the original Turner and Hooch movie on Disney 
oh she loved it and she was laughing and so that really helped annihilate that bad attitude we're putting in a spiked cider and the busiest of knees and so we noticed also on disney that they had a new series okay it's a little cheesy and it take it took me a little while to get into it but we ended up loving the turner and hooch show on disney it was so good oh loved it just fun and happy and easy going we have a watermelon farmhouse soap mm, it's so good and this one does have some slightly pink lather now the color mixture it, it did end up a little bit more intense than i wanted it to be now the color mixture i used not even half of what was allowed recommended slash safe so but i did mention that in the listing that it does have a slight pink lather so there's that and then we have a peach sea salt soap so she doesn't really like the old sitcoms. We tried the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and she didn't end up wanting to watch that one. And so, I don't know, I was like, you know what? I saw that Netflix had Major Dad on. That was a long time ago. And so we started that one and she's really loving that one too. But it's a uh, pretty bad quality and my poor eyes can't handle it. So we watched one episode a night <laughs> so my eyes can have a break it's a little fuzzy but that's on netflix it's it's so funny i love it all right let's see what else is going in here let's do hmm all right i guess i'll put in a little bit of shred so i love the discovery app and i watch plenty of things on that i started watching um gone girl the street outlaws I ended up loving that show. So now I'm watching um, on my own time. So we have a candied apple wax melt bar. Um, I'm watching Street Outlaws Memphis. Who would have known I would like street racing? But here we are. I've always loved muscle cars. It's like half the fun of watching Supernatural is just for the car itself. <laughs> We've, we've been around the supernatural block a few times, so kind of bored on that. Yeah, so we're just kind of, we're kind of in a bust on TV shows. Cranberry Rhubarb Preserves. We were watching Virgin River. We have two episodes left of that, but she decided that was too sad. She didn't want to watch it anymore, but I'm being held hostage. I'm not allowed to watch it without her, so it's a weird situation. We'll get back to it eventually. That was the caramel apple. And we had gone through all of Vampire Diaries. We're down to a few episodes of that, but she didn't like the way that was headed, so we kind of took a break from watching that silly show. So yeah, we are just, we just don't know. We have a peach farmhouse soap and mandarin cranberry. So I am taking suggestions, something friendly for a fairly young teenager girl. We stay pretty clean as far as things go. Overdo the what can you watch and what can you not watch thing as long as it's not horrible because I figure you know what these kids need to know what's happening in the real world because they're going to be hit with it one way or another so we don't over you know restrict things but obviously try to avoid some pretty serious nasty stuff obviously that was a weird turn to my conversation okay so this package is ready to head out okay so we're on to the last order for the pack and chat for the fall restock release and this order is going to Letitia in Texas. Thank you for your order, Letitia. And Letitia also left such a nice message. Very supportive, super encouraging, and I really appreciated that message. It made me smile. So for Letitia, we're sending six of the Beezy Sneeze soaps. So we're going to put those in like so. We have 
the rest of them here. Good. We have six of the Calendula Carrot soaps. So good. There we go with those. And that is going to be a little bit heavy, I think. So let's. The bath bombs are the flat ones. So I think what we'll do is we'll do a. Hmm. Will that. Yeah, those will still be fine. So what we'll do is two soaps together. Because otherwise, this box is just going to be like, whoop. Because it's going to be so heavy on one side. And, yeah, we'll do it like so. Okay, good. We have two of the jack-o'-lantern soaps. So one is the classic smiley face. And then we got Mr. Krabby Pants here. And we're going to, we have, we'll probably have a little extra room here, but... This is the box we're just going to have to go with for this time. Put some shred there. Tuck some around all the edges. Pretty good. Okay. Good. Very good. All right. Let's do. Put in the bath bombs next, I guess. Let's put in the mandarin cranberry. And I think I'll just go ahead and put it there. And we'll tuck. I think we'll tuck these jack-o'-lantern soaps just kind of like right here on the edge. But we may move those, but they're in for now. And then we have a cranberry rhubarb preserves bath bomb. Admittedly, those pumpkins did not sell as I anticipated. I thought I hadn't made enough, but... There's still a lot sitting over here. Good. And then, oh, is this the last one? Yeah. This one, it's not quite white enough for the pumpkin. There we go. Yeah, I think we'll end up moving those. Alright, so... We are going to have to use a little bit more shred than would be ideal, but we gotta get these all protected and we just have a little bit of space here for them to shift. And this shred, you can reuse it, save it for gifts, save it for padding if you're sending packages to loved ones usually my customers say they sure smell really good <laughs> the shreds do you can use them for if you're starting a fire so don't just toss them definitely reuse all right that's great and then we'll tuck in these two soaps right like so Isn't that nice that worked out really quite wonderfully give these bath bombs just a little bit more protection on the top it's just a little bit much there
We don't want too much shifting in here. All right, so we're going to put in a cranberry limeade sample. Tuck him in there. And then doing a charcoal tea tree eucalyptus sample. Just do that like so, kind of off, but I'm kind of tucking them in between things. The invoice and the business card. And this one is ready to head to Texas. So I have a lot to do. I need to just get to packing all the rest of the orders so I can reach my quota for today. I have quite a lot to do. I'll be playing some catch up. These pack and chats do take a little bit of time to Oh, that's funny. It's like I can see the the invoice very clearly right there. It's kind of funny. But I am hoping to be done packing all orders by Friday of well, the Friday that's after two weeks of my release. I don't even have any clue what today is. I don't know what <laughs> that date is, but I'm hoping to be caught up soon. Apparently, that the Friday that I'm hoping to be caught up is the 15th. So, get through that. And then it is full steam ahead on Christmas production. I already have my soaps done, but now I gotta start in on my wax melts, which I was gonna get those started, but it ended up re pouring a lot of these fall ones. So I did not get going on the Christmas quite yet, but that is what I have to do next. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you stuck around clear to the end of the third one here. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Thank you for a wonderful release. I have a lot of stock left, just a lot. There was a lot back in this one up. So I hope that you'll check it out. I hope to release the wax melt restocks probably somewhere between Friday the 15th and let's say 15th. Monday the 18th. So keep your eyes peeled for those. Thank you again. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.